discussed the re uh, reduction formulas of sin to the power of nx and cos to the power of nx dx and also in yesterday's session solved some problems also today today is the last session of definite integrals this is the last session on definite integrals in in this session we are going to discuss remaining reduction formulas and some problems on reduction formulas okay today the first in a, in pre in, a, in previous session or in yesterday's class already we are completed sin to the power of nx and cos to the power of nx dx remaining trigonometric functions are tan to the power of nx and cot sec and cosec they are discussing in this session only first of all if in equal to integral over 0 to pi by 4 tan to the power of nx dx tan to the power of nx dx then in plus i n minus 2 equal to 1 by n minus 1. I n minus 2, sorry, only I n minus 2. Now, let us take, let us take integral over 0 to pi by 4 tan to the power of n x dx. This is the given integral, given integral. How to write? Already we are discussing indefinite integrals. Tan to the power of n minus 2x and tan square x. Already we are solved this type of reduction formulas in indefinite integrals. In indefinite integrals, they are, there is no limits. In the similar process, we can solve this problem. The tan to the power of nx dx can be written as tan to the power of n minus 2x into tan square x. Here only 1 by n minus 1 is there. Tan to the power of wait. tan to the power of n minus 2x i n plus i n minus 2 equal to 1 by n minus 1. Am I clear? Now, integral i n equal to integral over 0 to pi by 4 tan to the power of n x dx tan to the power of n x dx can be written as tan to the power of n minus 2x into tan square x. Am I clear? Now, tan square x can be written as 6 square x minus 1. We know the formula 6 square theta minus tan square theta equal to 1. In the similar way, 6 square theta minus 1 equal to tan square theta. Now, split into two terms. Tan to the power of n minus 2x into 6 square x dx minus integral over 0 to pi by 4 tan to the power of n minus 2x dx. Tan to the power of n minus 2x dx. Am I clear? Now, this is this is the derivative of tan x is equal to 6 square x. Here already, the derivative of this function is 6 square x into dx. Directly, we can write the integration of tan to the power of n minus 2 is equal to tan to the power of n minus 2 plus 1 by n minus 2 plus 1. It means tan to the power of n minus 1 x by n minus 1. The limits are 0 to pi by 4. Whereas this term is this term can be written as i n minus 2. Now I am clear. This term can be written as i n minus 2. Now we can apply upper limit, then minus of lower limit. It means 1 by n minus 1 is constant term. Tan pi by 4, the exponent, whatever it may be tan pi by 4 that equal to 1 whole to the power of n minus 1 that equal to 1 
minus tan zero, it is equal to zero. Am I clear? Minus i n minus two. Now, one by n minus one into one, that equal to one by n minus one minus i n minus two. This i n minus two goes to this side. It become i n plus i n minus two equal to one by n minus one. This is the solution of tan to the power of n x d x. Once again, you can observe this one. Integral over zero to pi by four tan to the power of n x d x is equal to tan to the power of n minus two x into tan square x. <coughs> Sorry, tan square x can be written as x square x minus one into d x. Here, the derivative of tan x is equal to six square x. It means directly we can integrate it. The integration is tan to the power of n minus two plus one by n minus two plus one. That equal to n minus one. The limits are zero to pi by four. This term can be written as i n minus two. Now you can apply upper limit, then lower limit. This is the solution of tan to the power of n x d x. Now i zero. What is mean by zero? Integral over zero to pi by four tan to the power of zero x dx means integral over zero to pi by four one into dx. One into dx means x with respect to x means x. The limit is pi by four minus zero that equal to pi by four. Whereas tan one x i one means tan one x dx. What is the integration of tan x log sec x? Limits are zero to pi by four log sec pi by four minus log sec zero. That equal to log root two minus log one. Sec forty five means cos forty five equal to one by root two. It means sec forty five equal to root two. Sec zero means cos zero. The cos zero value is one. Sec zero value is also one. Log one value is log one value is zero. It means log root two. Root two can be written as log two to the power of one by two. Log a power m means m into log a. One by two log two. Am I clear? One by two log. Right. Now, what is the reduction formula? I n equal to I n equal to one by n minus one minus I n minus two. One by n minus one minus I n minus two. I n minus two. Again, i n minus two can be written as one by n minus three into i n minus four. Again, one by n plus five, and so on. The last term is i zero or i one. Either i zero or i one. It is depending on the value of n only. It is depending on the value of n only. If n is an even, the last term is i zero. If n is an odd, the last term is i one. What is the value of i one? i one equal to one by two into log two. i zero means pi by four. Am I clear? Now, let us take one example. Integral over zero to pi by four, tan to the power of four x dx is equal to one by. This is the formula for reduction formula for tan to the power of n minus. Tan to the power of n x dx one by n minus one minus i n minus two. Now here value of n equal to four only. Now one by three minus i two. One by three n equal to four means one by four minus one that equal to one by three minus i two. Again one by three minus one by one minus i zero. One by three minus one plus i zero. I zero value is already we know the value of I zero that is equal to pi by four. One by three minus one means minus two by three plus pi by four. It means pi by four minus two by three. This is the solution of tan to the power of four x into dx. This is the formula for reduction formula for tan to the power of n x dx. If you take tan to the power of five x dx, here we take it is an even. Into even number, it is an odd number. What happened? One by four minus i three. One by four minus i three. What happened? One by four minus i three means one by two minus i one. 
minus i2 minus in 2 1 by 2 minus 1 by 2 minus in 2 minus plus i1 what is the value of i1 i1 equal to 1 by 2 into log 2 now you can simplify these two terms simplify these two terms 1 by 4 minus 1 by 2 equal to 1 by 4 minus 1 by 4 plus 1 by 2 into log 2. this is the solution of tan to the power of 5x dx in the similar way you can find the tan to the power of 6x dx or tan to the power of 7x dx whatever it may be you can apply this formula 1 by n minus 1 minus i n minus 2 every time it is decreased by 2 only am i clear then assignment in the similar way we can solve cot to the power of n x dx same procedure i n equal to integral over 0 2 pi by 4 cot to the power of n x dx cot to the power of n x dx can be written as cot to the power of n minus 2 x into cot square x cot square x can be written as cos x square x minus 1 in the similar way we can solve the next the next reduction formula is sec to the power of n x dx the limits are 0 to pi by 4 Zero to pi by four. I n equal to integral over zero to pi by four. Sec to the power of n x dx. Then I n equal to root two whole to the power of n minus two by n minus one plus n minus two by n minus one into I n minus two. Am I clear? This is the formula for sec to the power of n x. How to solve it? Same procedure in indefinite integrals also. We can solve like this. Integral over zero to pi by four sec to the power of n x dx is equal to integral over zero to pi by four sec to the power of n minus two x into sec square x dx. Only in sine x and cos x, in in that sine to the power of n x and cos to the power of n x, in that problems only sec to the sine to the power of n minus one x into sine x. But remaining all problems. Sec to the power of n minus two x into sec square x. The exponent can be written as n minus two here plus two minus two plus two get cancelled. The remaining n only. Now this is the product of two terms. U into v. This is called u. This is called v. Sec to the power of n minus two into integral of sec square x dx that equal to tan x. Limits are zero to pi by four. Limits are. 0 to pi by 4 minus n minus 2 into derivative of this function. What is the derivative of this function? n minus 2 into sec to the power of n minus 2 minus 1. It means n minus 3x into derivative of sec x. Derivative of sec x is sec x tan x into integral of sec square x is equal to tan x. Am I clear? Once again, derivative of this function. n minus 2 into sec to the power of n minus 3x into derivative of sec x is sec x tan x integral of sec square x is equal to tan x dx am i clear now sec to the power of n minus 3x into sec x it means sec to the power of n minus 2x tan x into tan x tan square x am i clear The first term is sec to the power of n minus 2x into tan x. Integral of sec square x dx means tan x. The limits are 0 to pi by 4. 0 to pi by 4. The second term is derivative of this function and integral of sec square x is tan x. What happened? Sec to the power of pi by 4 into tan by pi by 4 minus sec to the power of n minus 2 into 0 into tan 0. Upper limit. Minus half lower limit, minus n minus two into sec to the power of n minus two x. Here n minus three is there. Here plus one is there. N minus two tan x into tan x tan square x. What is the value of sec to the power of fat, sec forty five? We know the value of sec forty five. That is root two tan forty five one sec zero one tan zero 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 into anything equal to zero. It is it become zero. The, this value is root two whole to the power of n minus two into one. It means root two whole to the power of n minus two. Root two whole to the power of n minus two. Here, n minus two into sec to the power of n minus two x 
into tan square x can be written as sec square x minus 1. The first term, the simplification of first term is root 2 whole to the power of n minus 2. It's clear. Minus n minus 2 into integral over 0 to pi by 4 sec to the power of n minus 2x into sec square x minus 1 into dx. Now, the first term is as it is. Now you can multiply these two terms, sec to the power of n minus 2x into sec square x, sec to the power of nx. Sec to the power of n minus 2x into minus 1, it means sec to the power of n minus 2x. Now, this is denoted by in. This is denoted by in minus 2. It is denoted by in n minus 2 into in minus 2 minus half n minus 2 into in. This term goes to this side. What happened? In plus n minus 2 into in. Is it clear? Is equal to root 2 whole to the power of n minus 2 into n minus 2 plus n minus 2 into in minus 2. The first term is as it is root 2 whole to the power of n. The third term n minus 2 into in minus 2. This term goes to this side. Minus become plus. What is the common factor here? In. 1 plus n minus 2. It means n minus 1 n minus 1 into i n equal to root 2 whole to the power of n minus 2 plus n minus 2 into i n minus 2. Am I clear? Now, what is the simplification of this term? n minus 1. This n minus 1 goes to this side. We have to find the value of i n only. That's why this term goes to that side. It become n minus 1 into i n equal to same as this. Now, this n minus 1 goes to this side, root 2 whole to the power of n minus 2 by n minus 1 plus n minus 2 by n minus 1 into i n minus 2. This is the solution of sec to the power of nx. Similarly, the homework cosec to the power of nx dx, cosec to the power of nx dx, same procedure. The cosec to the power of nx dx can be written as cosec to the power of n minus 2x into cosec square x dx, cosec square x dx. Now apply u into v, apply u into v, now we get the answer. That is the solution of cosec to the power of Cosec to the power of nx dx. Am I clear? Right. The next one is very, very important one. And then the lengthy theorem. If i m comma n is equal to integral over 0 to pi by 2, sine to the power of mx into cos to the power of nx dx is equal to, then, or then prove that i m comma n equal to m minus 1 by m plus n i m minus 2 comma n or one more solution is there in indefinite integrals also this problem we have two solutions n minus 1 by m plus n into i m comma n minus 2 here m minus 2 comma n here m comma n minus 2 right how to solve it the given integral can be written as sine to the power of m minus 1x into cos to the power of nx into here sine to the power of mx can be written as sine to the power of m minus 1x into sin x. Now, the derivative of this term is equal to this one. Am I clear? This is the integral of integral of integral of f dash x into fx dx. Now the integration of the first term is as it is minus sine to the power of m minus 1x into what is the integration of cos to the power of nx cos to the power of n plus 1x by n plus 1. Limits are 0 to pi by 2 plus 0 to the power of 0 to pi by 2 
M minus one into M minus one into derivative of this function M minus one into sine to the power of M minus two x M minus three x into derivative of sine x is cos x cos x into cos to the power of n plus one x by n plus one. But we have to write here n plus two. Here the derivative of this function, derivative of sine x is cos x. It means cos x into cos to the power of n plus one x that equal to cos to the power of n plus two x. Am I clear? Once again, that here u is sine to the power of m minus one x. V means v means this one sine sine to the power of cos to the power of n x into sine x dx. The derivative of this function is m minus one into sine to the power of m minus two x into cos x. Integration of this function is cos to the power of n plus one x by n plus one x. Whereas derivative of cos x is equal to sine x minus sine x. That's why we can write like this. Am I clear? Now apply upper limit. Sine ninety one, cos ninety zero. It means the total term is zero. If you put x is equal to zero, sine zero equal to zero, cos zero equal to one. Zero into anything equal to zero. It means that the total term is value. The total term value of this term is zero. It means this term is vanishing. That's why we can write. Zero. Here plus is there. Minus half minus plus. M minus one by n plus one. Here m minus one is there. Here n plus one is there. Sine to the power of m minus two x cos to the power of n x into cos square x. Here n plus two is there. In n plus two can be written as cos to the power of n x into cos square x. The value of cos square x is equal to one minus sine square x. Now you can multiplying with this term. What happened? M minus one by n plus one integral over zero two pi by two sine to the power of m minus two x into cos to the power of n x dx minus m minus one by n plus one into sine to the power of m minus two x into sine square x. It becomes sine to the power of m x into cos to the power of n x dx. Am I clear? Now, it can be written as i m comma m minus two comma n i m minus two comma n. It can be written as i m comma n. Once again, you can observe the given problem. i m comma n means sine to the power of m x into cos to the power of n x. If here m here n is there, you can write simply m comma n. Am I clear? Now, I m comma n equal to m minus one by n plus one into I m minus two comma n. Am I clear? I m minus two comma n minus m minus one by n plus one I m comma n. But this term and this term both are same. This term goes to that side. It become m plus n. What happened? If you take one, uh, I m comma n is common. One plus m minus one by n plus one. Take LCM. One plus m minus one by n plus one. The value is m plus n by n plus one. On both the sides, n plus one, n plus one get cancelled. The remaining m plus n into m plus n into I m comma n equal to m minus one into I m minus two comma n. What is the value of I m comma n? We have to find the value of I m comma n only. That's why the value is m minus one by m plus n into I m minus two comma n. Am I clear? This is the solution of this function. One more solution is there. What is that? I m comma n equal to n minus one by m plus n into I m comma N minus two is also there. For that only, once again you observe this one. Later we will discuss that one. Sine to the power of 
m minus 1x into cos to the power of nx into sin x dx. Apply product rule. We know the product rule. The deri uh, sorry. The derivative of first of all, here two terms are there. This is u. This is v. The integration of this function is n plus cos to the power of n plus one by n plus one. Derivative of this function is m minus one into sine to the power of m minus two x into cos x. That's why here it becomes cos x into cos to the power of n plus one x means cos to the power of n plus two x. The value of this function is zero. Now, here cos to the power of n plus two x is can be written as cos to the power of n x into cos square x. Cos square x can be written as one minus sine square x. Am I clear? Now multiplying with that term. Now this it is denoted by i m minus two comma n. It is denoted by i m comma n. Here this term and this term both are same. Now take i m comma n is common. The remaining one plus m minus one by n plus one. The LCM is n plus one. n plus 1 into m minus 1 plus 1 minus 1 get cancel the remaining m plus n in the denominator both the denominators are equal they get cancel m plus n into i m comma n equal to m minus 1 into i m minus 2 comma n i m comma n equal to this is the one of the solution the other results can be provided in a similar way by writing how to write Sine to the power of m x into cos x into cos to the power of n minus one x dx by applying integration by using of product rule. Once again, you can observe this. Here we can write sine to the power of m x into cos x into cos to the power. Here the cos term can be split into two terms: cos x into cos to the power of m x. In previous case, in previous case, we have. Here we slip the the first term sine to the power of m x can be split into you can write product of two terms sine to the power of m minus one x into sine x cos to the power of n x is as it is that's why here in the last step also n is as is one am I clear? The second for second case we have to write sine to the power of m x into cos x. Into cos to the power of n minus one x dx. This is now you can. This is u. This is v. Then you can integrate. We have to find the same answer. Second. Now, if m equal to one, what happened? Integral over zero to pi by two sine to the power of one x into cos to the power of n x. The derivative of cos x is equal to. And the integration of cos x is equal to sin x means here f dash x into f x dx. The f dash x derivative integration is one by n plus one. The limits are zero to pi by two. Now you can apply. The answer is one by n plus one. The integration of this function is cos to the power of n plus one by n plus one. Cos to the power of n plus one x by n plus one. Apply limits zero to pi by two. Am I clear? Cos ninety equal to zero. Sine ninety or cos zero equal to one. That is the solution. If n equal to one, what happens? Sine to the power of m x into cos x. It means sine to the power of m plus one x by sine to the power of m plus one x by M plus one apply here sine to the power of pi by two means one. The value is m plus one, but here the value is minus half one by m plus one. Here minus is there. Once again, wait. Here minus is there.
now if n equal to 1 then integral over 0 to pi by 2 sin to the power of mx into dx is equal to 1 by m plus 1 deduction and how to write a reduction formula what is meant by im comma n im comma n equal to m minus 1 by m plus n im minus 2 comma n am i clear if im minus 2 can be written as m minus 3 by m minus 3 by here m here sub, sub, uh, subtracting only 1 m minus 2 minus 1 m minus 3 by m plus n minus 2 minus 2 in the im minus 4 comma n again now you can find the value of im minus 4 comma n it means m minus 1 by m plus n m minus 3 by m plus n minus 2 m minus 5 by m plus n minus 4 i m minus 6 comma n in the similar way we have to write like this m minus 1 by m plus n m minus 3 by m plus n minus 2 m minus 5 by m plus n minus 4 and i 0 comma n or i 1 comma n it is depending on the value of according as m is even or odd but i 0 comma n equal to cos to the power of nx dx what is the integration of this one this is minus of here also minus is missed. not there you put to minus here Now, this is the solution. Now, let us take some examples. Here, four cases are there. Now, you can observe this one. I m comma n value is if m is an even, now we can apply this one. If m is an odd, we can apply this one. And same, the first terms are as it is m minus 1 by m plus n, m minus 3 by m plus n minus 2. You now you can observe this one. The first terms are as it is. Here, the second terms are n minus 1 by n, n minus 3 by n minus 2, n minus 5 by n minus 5. In a similar way, the last term is depending on the value of even. If the last term is even, it means g 1 by 2 into pi by 2. If, if n is an even, if it is a odd, 2 by 3 into 1. If m is odd, either n is even or odd, whatever it may be, the last value is 1 by n plus 1. This is uh, somewhat complicated. Some steps are easy. Now, find the some problems solve the some problems how to solve it the first one integral over 0 to pi by 2 sine to the power of 6x into cos to the power of 4x dx here both are even functions both are even means you can apply this one formula. m minus 1 by m plus n now see m minus 1 6 minus 1 5 by m plus n 6 plus 4 that equal to 10 numerator and denominator subtract two only numerator and denominators from numerator and denominator you can subtract two only you get the second step five minus two three three minus two one ten minus eight two eight eight minus two six after one there is no value now again n minus one by n n minus one means four minus one three by four again subtract two numerator and denominator here both are even you you have to write if 1 by 2 is there automatically you can write pi by 2 the after simplification the answer is 3 pi by 5 by 2 here this is odd and this is even 5 5 minus 1 it means 4 4 by m plus n 9 2 by 7 1 by n plus 1 1 by n plus 1 means 1 by 5 once again this is the, if m is odd, either n is even or odd, whatever it may be, 
the last term is 1 by n plus 1. 1 by n plus 1 means 1 by 5. Yeah, now you can simplify it. The answer is this one. In the similar way, same procedure, you can apply the third problem also in the similar way. Fourth one also. Here both the terms are odd. Same procedure. 5 minus 1, 4 by m plus n means 10. Again, you can apply 2. 4 minus 2, 2. 10 minus 8. And 10 minus 2, 8. This is 1 by n plus 1. It means 1 by 6. Now so you simplify it 1 by 6. This is the answer 1 by 60. By using this one, now we can evaluate some. And uh, now we can, by using this formulas, we can solve some more problems on definite integrals. Evaluate integral over 0 to 2 x to the power of 3 by 2 into under root of 2 minus x dx. Here substitution is the given integral is in the form of x to the power of 3 by 2 into under root of 2 minus dx. Put x is equal to 2 sine square theta. Here 2 minus x is there. 2 minus 2 sine square theta. If you take 2 common, 1 minus sine square theta means cos theta. That is the solution. dx is equal to. 2 as it is, sine square theta derivative to 2 sine theta into cos theta d theta. Yeah, am I clear? When? Now, the change the limits also. Upper limit, if x is equal to 2, 2 equal to 2 sine square theta. It means sine square theta equal to 1, theta equal to pi by 2. Lower limit, 0. x is equal to 0 means 0 equal to sine 2 sine square theta. Sine theta equal to 0. The value of sine theta is always 0. Now, here the theta value is 0 means sin 0 equal to 0. That's why the theta value is 0. Now, the given integral is 0 to 2 x to the power of 3 by 2 into under root of 2 minus x dx. Integral over 0 to pi by 2, 0 to pi by 2. Lower limit is 0, upper limit is pi by 2. 2 into sin square theta. In place of x, we can write 2 into sin square theta whole to the power of 3 by 2 under root of 2 minus 2 sine square theta into dx is equal to 4 sine theta cos theta d theta. Here, 2 to the power of 3 by 2. If you take here, 2 is common root 2. And it means 2 to the power of 1 by 2. 2 to the power of 3 by 2 into 2 to the power of 1 by 2. That equal to 2. 2 square, 4 only. Now, here, sine sin to the power of sine cube theta. Why? Because sine square theta whole to the power of 3 by 2, 2, 2 get cancelled sine cube theta. Here sine cube theta is there, here sine theta is there, sine to the power of 4 theta. 1 minus sine square theta, it means cos square theta. Root of cos square theta means cos theta. Cos theta into cos theta, cos square theta. That is the solution of given. Sine cube theta, cos theta, again 2 square 3 by 2 plus 1 by 2 means 4 by 2. That equal to 2. Sine to the power of 4 theta cos square theta. Here 4 is there. 4, 2, 4, 4, 16. 0, 2, pi by 2. Sine to the power of 4 theta into cos square theta d theta. Here both the exponents are even. M and N are even. Now apply. 1 by 6 and 3 by 4 into 1 by 2 into now apply these formulas these formulas now you can get the same answer that's all this is the solution of given equation in the similar way with the assignment is integral over 0 to 1 x to the power of 3 by 2 into under root of 1 minus x dx Put x is equal to sine square theta. Second problem. Put x is equal to sine square theta. Because here in, in the previous problem, we have to put x is equal to 2 sine square theta. But here 2 is there. But here 1 is there. That's why we can substitute 1 sine square theta. Here also 1 sine square theta. Here, here we substitute x is equal to 5 sine square theta. 5 sine theta. 5 sine theta only. Here x square is there. That's why. 5 sin theta. Here also sin square theta. These are the homework problems.
Am I clear? Assignment problems. Minus pi to pi. In previous problems, so all the limits are 0 to pi by 2. But here, minus pi to pi, sine to the power of 8x into cos to the power of 7x dx. But is it a even function or odd function? f of minus x is equal to my even function. Why? Because sine to the power of minus 8x, sine to the power of minus, sine of minus x is equal to minus sine x. Whole to the power of 8 is there. It means it become positive. Cos to the power, cos of minus x is always cos x. That's why it is an even function. If it is an even, we have to write 2 into integral over 0 to pi sine to the power of 8x into cos to the power of 7x into dx by applying this formula. Minus a to a f of x dx is equal to 2 into integral over 0 to a f of x dx when f, f, f of x is an even. If f of x is an odd, this value is 0. Now, let g of x is equal to this one. The upper limit minus variable that equal to this one. What happened? Upper limit minus variable 2 into pi by 2 f of 2a minus x by using that formula. f of 2a minus x is equal to f of x or minus f of x. Here what happened? 2 into pi by 2 minus x. 2 into pi by 2 minus x means pi by minus x. Sin 180 minus theta, cos 180 minus theta. Sin 180 minus theta, sin theta. Whereas cos 180 minus theta minus cos theta. Minus cos theta. Am I clear? Third, second coordinate. In second coordinate, all silver teacups, all silver, silver means sine. Sine is positive, cos is negative. <coughs> sine is positive. Cos is negative. That's why this value become positive side. This value become negative. Whole to the power of 7 is there. It means the value is negative value. It is minus g of x. f of 2a minus x is equal to minus f of x. f of 2a minus x is equal to minus f of x. The answer is 0 only. Answer is 0 only. Observe. This one, this is, I think, 13th property. Maybe it is 13th property. Integral over 0 to 2a, f of x dx is equal to 2 into integral over 0 to a, f of x dx. If f of 2a minus x is equal to f of x. If f of 2a minus x is equal to f of x, the value is 0. That's all. Now, Next problem. Integral over 0 to 1 by 2 x into sine inverse x by one under root of 1 minus x square into dx. The numerator and denominator multiply with minus 2 minus 2. Here minus 1 by 2 minus into minus plus this 2 this 2 get cancelled. x into sine inverse x by 1 minus x square. It can be written as this one u into v method. The derivative of this function is this one. 1 minus x square derivative minus 2x only. 1 minus x square derivative minus 2x only. This is u, this is v. Apply u into v. Integral of f dash x by root fx. f dash x by root fx. That equal to 2 root fx. 2 root fx. Am I clear? 2 root fx. Now, the derivative of sine inverse x, 1 by under root of 1 minus x square. The integration of this one is 2 root 1 minus x square. 1 minus x square, 1 minus x square get cancelled. Only 2 into dx is there. 2 into dx is there. What is the limit? Upper limit is 1 by 2. Lower limit is 0. Sign inverse 1 by 2, 5 by 6. 1 minus 1 by 4, that equal to 1 minus 1 by 4, that equal to 3 by 4. Root 3 by 2 root 3 by 2 or root 3 by 4. Again, this 4, this 2 get cancelled. The answer is 5 by 6 minus of root 3 by 2. Here minus 1 by 2 into root 3 by 2, 2 get cancelled. 
minus root 3 by 2 into sine of sine inverse 1 by 2 that equal to pi by 6 plus here 2 2 get cancelled only 1 into dx that equal to x limits are 0 to 1 by 2 upper limit is 1 by 2 minus lower limit is 0 now what is the solution minus root 3 pi by 12 plus 1 by 2 minus root 3 pi by 12 plus 1 by 2 it can be written as 6 minus lcm take lcm 12 6 minus root 3 pi that is the solution of given integral the last problem in this chapter <coughs> This is the last problem. Evaluate integral over 0 to 2 pi 1 plus cos x whole to the power of 5 into 1 minus cos x whole to the power of 3 dx. Now it can be written as what is the formula for 1 plus cos x that equal to 2 cos square x by 2. 1 minus cos x means 2 sin square x by 2. Am I clear? Here 2 to the power of 5, here 2 to the power of 3 that equal to 2 to the power of h. It means cos square whole to the power of 5, cos to the power of 10. Sin square whole to the power of 3, sin to the power of 6x. 6x by 2. Now, your substitution is x is equal to 2t. x is equal to 2t. What happened? dx is equal to 2dt. Then automatically change. Now we can change the upper limit and the lower limit. Here the upper limit is 2 pi. Here upper limit is 2 pi. What happened? T equal to pi. The lower limit is 0. Lower limit is 0. 2 into 0 means 0. Am I clear? X is equal to 2 pi. 2, 2 get cancelled. T equal to pi. Here lower limit X is equal to 0 means automatically T equal to 0. Now we can change that. 2 to the power of H. 0 to pi cos to the power of 20 into sine to the power of 60 into 2 dt. In place of dx, we can write 2 dt. This 2 into 2 to the power of 8 can be written as 2 to the power of 9. 0 to pi cos to the power of 20 into sine to the power of 60 dt. Am I clear? Now, f of pi minus x, 2a. Here also pi can be written as 2 into pi by 2, 2 into pi by 2 f of pi minus x is equal to f of x. It means f of 2a minus x is equal to f of x. It can be written as here you can observe this one. Cos 180 minus theta minus cos theta minus cos theta whole to the power of 10 cos theta only. Sin pi minus theta, sin theta only. That's why this 2 pi, pi can be written as 2 into pi by 2, 2a formula, integral over 0 to 2a, f of 2a, f of x dx is equal to 2 into integral over 0 to a, f of x dx, when f of 2a minus x is equal to f of x. By applying this one, it become one more 2 is there, 2 into 2 into 2 to the power of 8, that equal to 2 to the power of 10. Now, cos to the power of 10 theta into sine to the power of 6 theta. Again, apply im comma n formula. What happened? 2 to the power of 10 into this 10 minus 1, that equal to 9, 9 by 16, 10 plus 6, 16. Numerator and denominator, subtract 2, always 9 minus 2, 7, 7 minus 2, 5, 5 minus 2, 3, 3 minus 2, 1. 16 minus 2, 14, 14 minus 2, 12, 12 minus 2, 10, 10 minus 2, 8. And 6 minus 1, that equal to 5. 5 by 6, 3 by 4, 1 by 2 into pi by 2. Now you can, the, after simplification, this is the solution. 45 by 64 into pi. This is the solution of given problem. Once again, you can observe this one. 1 plus cos x is equal to? 2 cos square x into 2 sin square x. 2 to the power of 5 into 2 to cube equal to 2 to the power of h. This is cos to the power of 10x. It is sin to the power of 6x. Now you can change the limits also. Substitution is x is equal to tt, 2t. x is equal to 2t. Now the answer is 45 pi by 64. 
that's all my dear students this is the up to total definite integrals completed only applications of definite integrals is there applications of definite integral it means they are areas that is up to that stage we have to complete it the exercise is 7c total up to 7c completed thank you one and all my dear students all the best